a little while back, I compared the Queen Image Edit model with AC++ for swapping clothes. I shared some comparison images on Reddit then. The new version of the Queen model gives you some decent results with the basic workflow, but it has two main problems. First, the final image is slightly shifted from the original. For example, here's our source image. Now look at the image after swapping the clothes. See how the woman's position shifts a little bit? Let's zoom in. The other issue is image quality. The queen model tends to make her face a bit blurry. Because she was moved from her original spot, it's really hard to recover that lost detail. That's exactly why we need this special workflow. Here's the final output from my setup. Let's compare it to the original. See that? Her position stays perfectly consistent. The details on the new dress look great too. Let's zoom in again. The details on her face also remain completely unchanged. Now let's break down how this workflow works. Before I start, I need to mention something. The Confluia you see here is running on a cloud platform called Running Hub. It comes with all the models and the custom nodes already installed, which makes things really easy. The link is in the video description. Let's start with the first group of nodes. Here we have our two inputs, the dress we want to use and the woman who will wear it. We use a model called Deep Fashion to automatically detect the clothing in both images. This model is very small, only 24 megabytes, but it does a great job. You can preview the detected clothing area right in these two nodes. This next node not only crops out the clothing, but also removes the background. We do this so the queen model does not get confused by extra information like her face or the original background. The secret to keeping the face details unchanged is in painting. This means we only change the image inside a specific area. Everything outside this area, like her face, stays exactly the same. You adjust this specific area using this Draw B Box Mask node. The automatically detected area for the dress is not always perfect. For example, the original detected area doesn't include her feet but it closely follows the lower edge of the dress. The dress in the original image is very long, touching the ground, so I set the girl button parameter to 0.1. This reserves a bit more space below the dress edge. That's why you now see her feet included in this preview. In other words, you need to imagine how much space the new dress will take up, and then adjust the mask with this node to create enough room. This adjusted mask now goes into the in-paint crop node in the next group. This node takes our original image and crops it down based on the mask. This cropped image, which is 1024 by 1024 pixels here, is what we will actually be working on. You might see some extra space on the left and the right sides. Do not worry about that, it all gets cropped out at the end. In this node, you can preview the in-paint mask itself. The middle section is the area that's going to be replaced with the new dress. It perfectly matches what you saw in the preview node back in the first group. After the in-painting process, we get this new 1024 by 1024 image. At this stage, the details on the dress aren't perfect yet. That's because we are still limited by the Queen Edit model's resolution limit which is around 1 megapixel. That brings us to the final group. We take that 1024 image, upscale it, and then use a case sampler to resample it, which really sharpens the details. Finally, an in-pen stage node perfectly places this high detail section back into our original full size image, and that gives us the final output you see right here. If you'd like to download this workflow, feel free to join our community and support me. There's a link for that in the video description below. If you want to see more demonstrations of advanced and useful workflows like this, you can subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.